Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to Atlantic City. Very exciting. This is with a brand, um, it's called Explore Atlantic City. So I think it's almost like the tourism board. And we're going to go to a bunch of restaurants and bars and we're going to see some shows. It's gonna be really fun. It's like a jam-packed 48 hours. Woke up early in New York this morning, hit the road, and we're gonna get there at like 10.30. So, I've been to Atlantic City before. It's a lot of fun. I think this is gonna be a really fun vlog um, filled with a lot of fun activities. And I have no idea who else is going, so I'm really excited to see. We're staying at the Hard Rock, so we're almost there, and I will show you guys around the room. We wanna see him tomorrow. All right, we just checked in. Look at all the stuff. Exciting. So cute. This is like the room. Okay, just got to the room. It's really nice. Ooh, I like this mirror for getting ready. This fit I'm wearing this morning is all from Story, S-T-O-R-I. Well, not the sweatshirt actually, but this is like a long like sports bra crop top and then like the shorts. Very comfy. Anyways, the rest of the place, nice big bed and the view. This is like a really nice like spacious area and the view. Nice. Now we're gonna quickly get ready. I need to like fully do my makeup and everything for lunch. And then I think we're going go-karting and like a bunch of other stuff today. So yay, we're all checked in. I have to open my suitcase. They gave us some stuff over here. Gotta open that up. And this is what was inside the box. It's a bunch of Atlantic City treats. Oh, there's popcorn in here. The easy cheese is confusing me. Is that like a Jersey thing? Scotty. Various forms of chocolate. Ooh. Oh, this is a really good setup. Okay, I'm gonna get ready for the day now. Um, we have a short amount of time. I think I'm just gonna wear casual this with like a jean jacket over it. Cause we are, like I said, just really like walking around and exploring and stuff like that. It's also kind of like gloomy and overcast. Weird weather. I need to do my makeup basically from the start though. I'm gonna like really do it up later tonight because we're going to see Kevin Hart tonight which will be really fun. I'm really looking forward to that. But I'm just gonna do like everyday face makeup first and foremost. Let's do that. I'm actually really hungry for lunch right now. The drive is really easy here from New York, especially if there's like no traffic or whatever, but it took, I think like two hours, 15 minutes or something from the city. And then you come here if you've never been to Atlantic City. I mean, I've never been to Vegas, so I can't say that it's like Vegas, but it's like a bunch of like hotels with casinos in it and nightclubs, all of that stuff. So I think that it is pretty similar to Vegas, obviously not like to the full scale, but it's the closest thing that I know to it. The room is really nice. I've actually never stayed at a Hard Rock now that I think about it. So I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to gamble actually. I really like doing the slot machines because I'm basic. Just a little bit, you know. There's a Starbucks in this hotel, which is exciting, even though I don't Starbucks this morning. And I had some egg bites. So I guess I'll get ready and uh, vlog after. Okay, this is my makeup now. It was quick. I'm gonna throw on some white sneakers and then my jean jacket. Let me put my jean jacket on them. Wrangler top, my Wrangler jean jacket. Like I could always take it off too, you know, but I feel like it's giving sporty maybe. My day outfits aren't as good as the night ones. It's just kind of the way that I I've did my outfits for this trip. <laughs> about to go to an arcade after this. This is the Steel Pier. This is my first time here at Atlantic City Steel Pier. So many fun rides. Going on the slingshot. I want to watch them take off. Woo! Oh my god. R.I.P. I just played this game and I won. So that was fun. Oh my god. It's called the Flying Dutchman. That's hysterical. I used to love that ride at fairs. This is the Ferris wheel. It's air conditioned. Now we're at the Showboat Hotel and they replaced, this used to be a casino and they replaced it all with arcade games. It's all the fun of gambling without the real money, so. Cause I feel like arcade games are cheaper than like gambling. And we're going indoor go-kart riding. I don't think I've done this since I was like a kid. Oh my God, they go kind of fast.
is a espresso martini snow cone. Very cool. I had like a sip of everything. Okay, we're back in the room getting ready for dinner. This is quite a risque outfit for me. The corsets from House of CB, it's really pushing up my boobs, but you know, if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it in Atlantic City. I kind of, it's giving highlighter, but I, I think I really like it though. I have to quickly do my makeup because I wanna be able to get a picture in this outfit. We only have a short amount of time. So let's quickly get ready. Quickly curl my hair. Just quickly, quickly. I took off all my makeup. When you guys are on vacation, do you take off all of your makeup and redo it? Or do you work with what's what you have? In this case, I wanted to do more like full coverage foundation look. So I figured I would just redo it. And this is a risky move getting ready in the outfit that I'm wearing tonight, but there's no robes. Otherwise I would throw a robe over. It's a risky move. I might throw on my sweatshirt to be safe. I think this is gonna be the look. This is kind of a rush, kind of a last minute i like laid in bed until the last possible minute like we had plenty of time to get ready but i just always do this to myself where i'm like oh i'll lay, lay in the hotel bed until i have to get up and get ready boom and then i'm gonna wear my reformation heels we're going to dinner in the hotel at this place called the sandpiper and then we're going to see kevin hart tonight i will take off my apple watch for all those people who get mad that i wear my apple watch with formal wear not tonight i do wish i had my ears pierced tonight because i feel like fun earrings would be cool but you know i haven't done that yet I'm definitely allowed to do it again, but I just haven't done it. This is Dry Bar Triple Sec. It's like a volumizing spray. All right, final look. Pausing the video to talk about HelloFresh, who is our sponsor today. I'm so honored and excited to be working with HelloFresh. Not only do I get to enjoy the amazing meals, but I get to share it with you guys, and I know you're gonna love it, so let's get into it. HelloFresh delivers fresh, quality produce from the farm to your door, and they deliver in less than a week, so you can enjoy these delicious summer flavors right at home. HelloFresh has foolproof step-by-step -step recipes. I don't know how to cook, like this is just a thing, you know, I'm not the best at it, okay? So I need things that are going to be easy that I understand how to do. And you're actually able to cut back on time in the kitchen with HelloFresh by choosing meals that you can make in just like 30 minutes. HelloFresh offers a variety of different meal plans. They have the veggie, which is what I did this time. And I'll show you guys some of the recipes that I got. I ended up making the quesadilla tonight, which was delicious but I'm excited to have the other recipes later this week. They also have pescatarian and fit and wholesome meals. So they really make it easy for you to stick to your goals. All of your ingredients for your recipes from HelloFresh come pre-proportioned. So if you need a certain spice, they don't give you a whole container of it. Like you would get, you know, at the grocery store, you get the perfect exact amount that you need for your recipe. I did the four person vegetarian box and it's perfect because I can eat dinner with my boyfriend and then we have leftovers for the next day. I love HelloFresh. I think it's perfect for those who are like me and maybe you're not super into cooking, but you want to kind of try to get into it. The step-by-step -step instructions with the pictures, like it is just, it's the best way to start cooking in my opinion. And of course we have a deal for you guys today. Go to hellofresh.com and use the code Michio16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. I will have that link down below. Once again, use the code Michio16. Thanks so much to HelloFresh for working with me on this video. And now let's get back to the vlog. Okay, good morning. It's day two. We have breakfast pretty early this morning, early for my, my take. 8.15, but that just means we have to be like ready because we have activities like all day back to back after it. We're going to Van Gogh and a bunch of other stuff. Last night we saw Kevin Hart. So funny, so good. I was expecting it to be good, but it really was great. We had to put our phones in bags. It's a new thing. I've had it done in a couple of shows I've been to, like comedy wise and like concerts. Pretty cool. Anyways, it's a really gloomy day. Last time I was in Atlantic City, it was like this too. And then I think we have some free time in the afternoon, so maybe we'll, I don't know, go to the casino or something. And then we have dinner tonight and then we're trying to go and see Polly D tonight because he's playing in a club. So we'll see what happens, but good morning. Oh, I can show you guys my outfit. Wearing Jerf Avenue button down. Jean shorts are rolls, I think. The Hermes sandals and then this bag is rented from the row right now. I think I showed it maybe in this one or the last one. Um, comfy for today. Van Goghs that are right now. If you guys remember, I went to the one in New York 
but basically it's an immersive experience these ones so you sit in like a room and there's like projections all around you it's pretty fun i was so cold and i didn't pack accordingly <laughs> so i'm wearing a jean jacket itself which just doesn't go but i just I'm cold okay <laughs> and there's a lot of grab-and-go food places up here. And then there was this gelato place that I was very intrigued by because look how good the gelato looks, guys. It's like all stuffed. Oh my God. Now we're going to the Bali's Hotel and we're gonna go to a bar there and lunch there. Quite a lot to offer in this hotel. A lot of food, huge casino. You saw the show here last night. It's really big. I mean, I guess all the hotels here in Atlantic City are, but it's a really good one. Okay, we're at this bar now. This is the carousel bar. We're spinning. Like, look, we're in spins. And they have such cool drinks. This is where we're getting started with. I really want, it's just a big espresso martini weekend, I guess. I want this. <laughs> This drink was cotton candy in it, and then like they poured it over. These are cocktails that are on draft, which is cool. Oh, they're here. Stop. <laughs> All right, we're walking home now. The cool thing about Atlantic City is that all the like, hotels and everything are on the boardwalk. Apparently it's not safe at night, so do not recommend at night. We just went to Bali's. Hi guys, it's sometime later now. I took a nap, which was wonderful, and I did a bunch of other stuff. I got my video up and just hung out. Um, we like went and explored the hotel a little bit more. This hotel's just so big. I guess all of them in Atlantic City really are. Last time I was here, I stayed at Harrah's, which I think that we're actually going to tonight. For dinner, we're going to this steakhouse, which I'm really excited about. And then I'm like literally defogging my mirror right here because we steamed our clues for tonight in the shower. And I like put on pimple patches before I took a nap and everything too. I was like, all right, I'm really preparing for this sleep. It was a good old nap. Actually, we're going to the Borgata and we're going to a new steakhouse there. But then I think like directly across the, the way is Haras and we're going to see Polly D because we really wanted to. They got us on a list because we're basically here. I guess um, Atlantic City has no official like, tourism board, but we're here with this company Meet AC, which is basically like one of their tourism boards, which has been super awesome and cool because they've been taking us obviously to all like the hotspots of Atlantic City and a lot of like undiscovered gems that aren't like necessarily in the hotels or casinos. Because the problem is, not, it's not a problem, but when you go here, you might not even ever have to leave your hotel. Like I said, this hotel alone has so many dining options that I feel like I wouldn't, you know, if I were just here, I'd be like, all right, I guess I'll just, you know, go to all the restaurants here, maybe check out the pier or whatever, but that's kind of it. There really are so many things to do. So that's why this trip has been really cool to uh, kind of see all that. And as always with every trip, get to meet some fun new people and it's been really a nice time it was nice to have uh the afternoon of like free time today because you know like we we rested we're gonna be up probably pretty late tonight and then tomorrow morning we go home already two days goes by pretty quick so i think i'm gonna wear this pink dress tonight it's really really cute and um it's a little more flowy so i could i don't have to worry about dinner or whatever last night's outfit ended up being a hit like everyone really liked it and sasha i really liked it and I felt really good in it, but it was really, really tight. So like sitting down watching the comedy show, I was like, you know, like repositioning, which is just not the most practical, but it looked really good. I love the way House of CD stuff fits me, really pushes the girls out, which I, I actually really like. You know, I used to like not necessarily wear clothes that were super like out there and revealing of my body. Not, I'm not gonna say like I was shameful of my body or anything, but, I think that in the later years of life and kind of like coming into my own is like, I don't know how to make this sound like not cheesy, but like being like a woman and like loving my womanly body 
I've been able to wear styles that might be a little more like risque with like my boobs showing or like tighter or whatever and not feeling weird or shameful about that. Not that I ever did feel shameful. That's not the phrase maybe, but I definitely felt less comfortable, I guess, like even through college and end of college and you know, a few years post-grad, like I was like, uh, no, I can't really wear stuff like that. But it's like, if, if not now, when? Like <laughs> I'm 25, I'm in Atlantic City. Like this is the perfect time to wear stuff like that. I'd wear it every day if I want to. It's almost like I had like a mindset shift where I was like, you know what? Uh, why can't I wear this? I can. You wear anything you want to wear as long as you wear it with confidence. Probably just because, you know, I always associate big boobs with being like revealing or whatever because it definitely is. It's something that I have to like think about when I wear outfits and whatever. But at the same time, like th that's great. You know, people pay for these and I'll see you guys when I'm ready. Okay, the lighting is trash. Actually, let's try this. I'm trying to remember where this dress is from. I know that I got it in PR. Like I definitely got like a, a line sheet and was able to pick out stuff. Let me figure it out. It's cute. She's giving. I feel like this is my color this season, this like hot pink. Yeah. We're home, we're home. Um, I have pimple patches on because I have this crazy pimple right here. We're now repacking for the next trip, which is going to Montauk for two weeks. So I have to pack a bunch of stuff. I'm tired because we were just go, go, going. But what a fun trip to Atlantic City. If you guys have never been and you live in like the tri-state area or not, I guess it's not really tri-state because a lot of people from Pennsylvania go. But obviously, if you live in Jersey or Pennsylvania or whatever, it's a really fun place to go if you've recently turned 21, actually. I know a lot of my viewers um, are like college age or whatever. So if you've recently turned 21, make sure you're actually 21 because I don't know how sure they are or whatever. But if you're actually 21, go. It's a lot of fun. Get a hotel room, split it with a bunch of your friends. You can go out. You can go to the casinos. It's just like a really fun time. And I showed you guys, obviously, everything that we did in this vlog. A bunch of fun places and just had a wonderful time so thank you so much to meet AC who is who sent me so yeah my goal is to not completely overpack but at the same time I don't want to forget anything because I'd have to come back and get it which I'm not doing so I have to bring everything that I could possibly need for two weeks and also we're staying like in a house so I need to you know bring like some home essentials and things like that I guess Danielle is coming a day later because she has Ryan has something with work tomorrow night so Katie and I are gonna drive out tomorrow around noon it's like 4 p.m. I'm watching Real Housewives of Dubai while I pack I only saw episode one like I was sent to the premiere and now I'm watching episode two and it's really good my parents watch it too and they said it's good a little bit later this is how it's going we have the two suitcases out and then everything here it's a lot of stuff but like I'm bringing like board games and that's like camera equipment there, there's a lot I think I'm gonna take a quick break or I don't know how long of a break from packing it's like six o'clock and read my book for a little bit on the balcony since this will be my last time using my balcony for two weeks mm -hmm. 